begin with this video, here is a wicked and easy question for you all. Can you all tell us Tom Holland's upcoming movie's name? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below. Or stick to the end of the video, which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. Entertainment, your number one source for all things films and movies. And in today's video, we're going to look at Marvel actors doing cameos in non Marvel movies. Now that some of those superstar free guy cameos are all over the social media, Ryan Reynolds has clearly deemed it a spoiler safe time to offer public thank yous to some of the many actors who performed cameos in the film, including former Captain America Chris Evans. This movie is about friendship, Ryan Reynolds captioned the star-studded slideshow, and friendship is at its simplest, just showing up. While I don't have photos of everyone, here's to all the incredible pals who showed up for the film. Hashtag free guy. Now, I know a lot of Hollywood is supporting the Just Look Up movement, mm. but I haven't seen a pin like that. Yeah, yeah, this pin, this pin points both up and down. Because I think as a country, we need to stop arguing. And, and, and virtue signaling, just get along. That is so refreshing. Mm. I think we're all tired of the politics. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch has said that playing a non-binary character in Zoolander 2 backfired. The actor appeared in the 2016 comedy sequel as a character named All, a non-binary fashion model. His casting at the time caused controversy. LGBTQ activists led a boycott of the film with a petition amassing up to 25,000 signatures. Meet the biggest supermodel in the whole world is All. Are you like a male model or a female model? All is all. I think he's asking, do you have a hot dog or a bun? <laughs> the petition criticized the decision to play the character as an over-the-top cartoonish mockery of trans non-binary individuals. It continued by hiring a cis actor to play a non-binary individual in a clearly negative way the film endorses harmful and dangerous perceptions of the queer community at large. Was Taika Waititi involved in Flight of the Concords? Yes, he was. He wrote two episodes and directed four episodes of Flight of the Concords, HBO show. He's also done a cameo in the telephone commercial in the episode Drive-By. So, where does Flight of the Concords take place? It takes place in the New York City. The show follows the adventure of Flight of the Concords, a two-man band from New Zealand. As its members seek fame and success in the New York City, the show stars the real-life duo of Clement and Brett McKenzie, who play fictionalized versions of themselves. So, how many seasons does this show has? It has two seasons. Hello, do you have the new Gypsy Kings cassette? Let me check. Yes, we have it. I'd like to reserve it. I'll put it aside for you. Excellent. Goodbye. Good telephone. At this point, it's no longer a secret. Ryan Reynolds turns up in an uncredited bit part in Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. Playing a CIA, Ryan Reynolds kicks the Fast and Furious franchise spin-off into high gear by sending Dwayne Johnson's Luke Hobbs and Jason Shaw on a dangerous mission to track down a rogue MI6 agent who is in possession of a super toxin capable of wiping out hundreds of millions of people across the globe. Lucas Rebecca Hobbs, I haven't seen you in forever. Rebecca? Do you even age? How long's it been? Six months. Time flies. When we're apart. What is your skincare regimen? Because you look like a young Shirley Temple. Go, 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 go. Daddy, who is this guy? Well, this guy is uh, is Locke. And he works for the CIA. Four 
we jump into the next video, here's a quick shout out to our Instagram page, Filmonger Official. If you're someone who loves Marvel and DC updates or any kind of Marvel and DC memes, then this is your one stop shop. The opening sequence of Zoolander showcases the lion's share of celebrity cameos. Several notable members of the fashion industry and Hollywood elite are put on display singing the praises of Derek Zoolander. However, some appearances are more memorable than others. Natalie Portman showcases one of the more notable cameos from the film's introduction. She spouts funny lines and implies she wants to date the coveted model. She says Derek might be too good looking, which would be the main deterrent in, you know, considering a relationship. He's almost too good looking. That would be my, my main deterrent in, you know, considering a relationship. There is no shortage of animated cameos in Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, from Blaster from the old Transformers show to scrapped ugly Sonic design from the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog movie. But there are also a few real live human cameos, and that includes a cameo from arguably the funniest actor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Mr. Paul Rudd. It's a brief scene near the end of the movie, but Paul Rudd makes the most of it. While signing photos for his fans, Paul Rudd regales them with a ridiculous behind-the-scenes anecdote for the original Ant-Man pitch. You know, originally it was called Ant-Man, A-U-N-T, and my superpower was being really charming to aunts. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Whoa, coming through. Ah! Love your work. Did you know that Elizabeth Olsen was also a part of the TV series Full House along with her other two siblings? Now let's see how it went. Decided to make their own with their little sister Lizzie. Now Lizzie makes her debut in the new video, and she's terrific. What am I, Chad Swivel? Samuel L. Jackson playing the role of a Muslim inmate Hajira in the movie Out of Sight. Jack Foley, meet a Jarrah Henry. <sighs> what kind of a name is Hajira? It's Islamic. What's it stand for? The Hajira was Muhammad's flight from Mecca in 622. In the upcoming movie clip, we have a special cameo by our very own Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. It is Scarlett Johansson in the movie Torridge. In this movie, she seems very young and she also sounds a little different. Let's have a look. I'm in New York. I just got in. Really? Really? No, I, I, I'm on my way to New York right now. You want to grab a late dinner? <laughs> Uh, let's, let's make it an early breakfast. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll call you when I land. Okay. Cool. Talk to you later. See you later. Now, how can we forget Mark Ruffalo, if you are very own Hulk scheme you in the movie? Now you see me. That magic combat scene in the movie is everything and well, that is my favorite part of the movie. What do you think? So, a stick. No. Oh! Wait, wait, leave them in. You really think I'm gonna walk away from you? Give me the stick. Oh. Give me it. All right. Don't ever question me again. Beat it. Someone else came you in the movie The Hitman's Bodyguard is very funny and it also is an important part of the movie. Just look at this furious lady trying to find her lost husband. Do you have any idea how stupid you sound? I mean, what a fuck up. You lost my husband? And you're like, can you please help us find him? Why the fuck should I? That is your fucking job, motherfucker. But obviously, you suck at it. <clears throat> you received a phone call today from your attorney. So? Did you ever notice that Tom Hiddleston was also a part of the movie Conspiracy? Well, if you missed it, I do not blame you because he literally had an on-screen appearance of half a second. He's here, sir. Where is this going? Yes, this is Lieutenant Colonel Eichmann. Yes, I understand, Major, but the General has requested to be free of calls at this time. If you wish to explain the matter to me, 
Um, it was strangely difficult to learn <laughs> because you bad always, lines are always <laughs> difficult to learn because <laughs> when you're learning stuff you want to sort of make it make sense i think as the mystery guest it, the, this whole whole point is to sort of um is to make a fool of oneself or, or be determinedly made a fool of by uh, the brilliant dennis herdman tom tuck and matesh sony did tom holland appear in this series euphoria well, we have watched a lot of interviews of Tom Holland and Zendaya talking about a special cameo in Euphoria and Zendaya telling that she will try her level best to get a Tom Holland cameo in the series. However, we did come across a photo of Tom Holland in which he's seen seated in the audience. Now we do not know if this is a real or a fake one, but we really hope that this special cameo comes out very soon or at least in the next season. Alright guys, that's it for today's video and the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is the crowded room. If you got this answer right and you are a true Tom Holland fan. Alright guys, we'll see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then keep watching for more entertainment. Bye guys.